Hi again, everybody. Welcome back to the Max Center. 100 years to the day that these two rivals once got together on the basketball court. They did it again tonight. The good guys put it in the win column by nine as they win going away uh, against the Akron Zips. Tylender with you. Typical Kent State Akron. Down to the final minute to decide it. To the highlights we go. It's gone by. No score. The Wall Cancer had such a red hot first half on Tuesday night. Now Spicer banging in against Cheatham. He scores. What a great deep touch. Edwin, he'll fake a three and drive baseline left to Jimmy Hall. Fake from the elbow. Penetration. Got close, but missed the runner. Got his own rebound and scores. Well, Akron is one of the no good. And Spicer will run it back as Dambrot howls for a stoppage in play that he does not get as he chases Garrison to the baseline. And Kellen Thomas scores, and they finally stop it. Hall with a backdoor cut. Spicer will turn around and slam it home. Far out on Isaiah Johnson, who muscles in. Lost the ball. Running it down is Jimmy Hall. Kent State not doubling there. Davis just standing his ground. Zips have three quick turnovers, leading to a Thomas three that he hits. And stealing a page from last year. With that three ball, the long rebound run down by Thomas and Ortiz. Feed it back to Avery. He's left open. Got it. It's OK. Thomas runs back up the floor. Spicer rejoins the fray. Kellen triggers and hits. And just like that, Kent State moves out in front by one. High on the left. Jalal has not been heard from yet. He's only taken one shot. He missed it. Kellen Thomas on a drive. Little floater. Got it. Kellen Thomas heating it up. Kent cool. He sure did. Now Thomas will try to do the same, and he does. Five for five start now for Kellen Thomas. And you have got to take advantage of this. A two for 10 start. Thomas, he scores again. Six for six start for Kellen Thomas. Here's Jalal Cancer running back up for Kent State. Feed Kellen. Can he stay hot? Are you kidding me? Knocks down the long jumper, 29-23. Kent State was trailing early by four, and then the Golden Flashes made their move. And it started with a man who didn't play in any of the three Kent State Akron games a year ago, Kellen Thomas. Seven for seven was Kellen Thomas from the floor in the first half, leading the way with 16 first half points that keyed a Kent State 10-point halftime lead to the second half. Kent State stretched it out to 15 at one point. But as they always do, the Akron Zips made a run, tied the game at 61. But the Golden Flashes did not falter. They hit the Zips with a counter punch, a 10-1 run. Key in that second chance points, Kalik Spicer. That's when Spicer really took off. He finished with 22 points, 8 for 10, 6 of 9 from the line. He pulled down eight rebounds. The Golden Flashes as a club in the 40-minute game, single-digit turnovers, just nine. And they dominated in the paint, 48 to 34, holding Akron to 10 threes, seven below their average, and it took them 33 tries to get those. So KSU gets the victory with three players in double figures. The Golden Flashes doing a job on Akron defensively with the three-point shots that few teams have done this year. Down to Spicer, out of the block. Double team, now single coverage against Johnson. They're going at him, he fires, he scores! And a foul, that's number four! Wow, what a big play, 10-29 to go. Wide open layup, how does Johnson miss that? Well, Kent State has a five point lead, but by the grace of God, here's Hall on the left wing driving. Hooks his way around, he scores! And that's point number 1,000 in the career of Jimmy Hall. Clock. Jalal Cancer against Robotham in front of us. Dump it to Spicer. They're going right at him, Dave. Backing in. There's McAdams with the double. He goes up. He scores. And Johnson. Two across comes Kellen Thomas. He feeds Jalal Cancer. We're inside of the four-minute mark in there for an immediate zone. Spicer against Isaiah. He'll go strong. Almost forgot the ball. Gets it back. Turns around. And he is going to wow. score. How about getting a good shot? Jimmy Hall to Spicer. Turns. He stays red hot. 22. And the lead is back to 11. Kellen Thomas with a skip. Oh, it was almost picked. Cancer feeds Hall. He'll fake it. He'll drive, feeding Spicer. Shuttle it off to Ortiz. Going strong. Trickles off. Hall taps it in. That might be the clincher. Up eight with 128 to go. Seconds to go. Here's Rebotham for a contested three. He's wide to the right. Edwin covers it up. They foul him with 8.4 to go. Well, I think that will allow the horses to leave the barn. And speaking of the barn, 6,327 are on their feet in the old barn. 
With a seven seconds ticking away, Jackson fires a long three, banks it off the window, rolling out with a second to go. It won't matter. It's a KSU KO. And the Golden Flashes have maybe their most impressive win under Rob Senderoff since they beat West Virginia five years ago. Win number 18 for Kent State. They go to nine and five within one game of first place in the Mid-American Conference. And now they get a bonus day off before heading to the State University of New York at Buffalo for a Tuesday night matchup. And are the Golden Flashes ever due to win there? The season's complexion may have changed tonight. 6,327, mostly wearing gold, looking on to own the 3-3-0. And for one night anyway, the Golden Flashes did. They win it by the final score of 85 to 76. We'll talk to you all down the line. For all of us on Golden Flashes TV, I'm Ty Linden.